Welcome to our lecture online. With this video, we're ready to start chapter two in our astrophysics series. And chapter two deals primarily with stars, how stars are formed, how they're born, how they live, and how they die. Now that seems simple enough, but there's a lot of different things to study on just those topics. And so I thought, let's give uh, the list here so we can take a look at it. You see, it will involve a lot of things, and that's what we plan on talking about in this particular playlist. In the beginning, we talk about nebula collapse and genes length and hydrostatic pressure, which are the concepts of how stars are formed from molecular clouds or from gas clouds and dust. Then we talk about the potential kinetic energy, viral theorem, clusters of galaxies and dark matter. So essentially what gravity does to these various structures. Then we start looking at the time, the Kelvin-Helmholtz time, which is also what we call thermal time, dynamical time, and diffusion time, where we study how long certain events take and why they take that long and how they can be calculated, which I always thought was very interesting how we could do that. And then we'll talk about what actually happens inside stars. So we talk about the exothermic nuclear reaction, the hydrogen to helium conversion, the proton-proton chain, the CNO chain, and eventually iron. And of course, iron is that element beyond which you can no longer fuse and have an exothermic reaction. So this is the last element that can be formed to exothermic nuclear reaction. So we'll look at all those various ways in which energy is produced inside stars. We also will look at radiation pressure and the expelling of the outer layers when the star reaches its final demise. We'll take a look at the Eddington luminosity and then we'll look at neutron stars and the X-rays. Maximum rate of accretion, active galactic nuclei, and pulsation. So here we get into looking at variable stars. We take a look at cepheid variables and RR Lyra stars, and things such as heat to work conversion and levels ionization. So after this chapter, you'll have a really good concept of how stars function, why they're formed, how long it takes for them to form, what they do while they're being stars, and then how they meet their demise at the end. So it should be really interesting. It becomes quite mathematical, but if you're here to look at these videos, you'll probably like that part as well. So we'll get started on our next video.